all right guys welcome to this object oriented programming python video series and in this video we are going to be learning about class methods and regular methods and also static methods and how class methods and uh, static methods differentiate themselves from the regular methods so an example of a regular method can be seen over here that is this full name method which takes the parameter of self instance or a self object and then when it's called or when it's uh, this full name function is called just like over here it prints out the full name of the object or the instance so if you have stumbled upon this video just to recap what we have done over here is that we have created a class of students and then we have a number of students class variable which increases by one whenever we create a new object and then we have a regular method that is called the full name which takes the instance of self and basically prints out the full name just like we have discussed. So what is a class method? A class method is any method like this which takes the first parameter as class instead of self. So if this full name took the parameter as class, this first uh, parameter as class, then this method would not be a regular method, it would be a class method. And it also uses a decorator which I'm going to get into later. But anyways, over here, what we have done is we have created two students, just like we do with typically when we are creating objects. And we have also two strings over here, which contains the first name, the last name and the email. All of these three things are divided with this dash over here. So we have two, uh, two strings over here. And now imagine a scenario where we have to create a project where a person can enter the details. Like for example, over here, a person can enter just right, like strings and stuff. The person doesn't know about objects and classes and he just creates a lot of strings with the first name, the last name and the email of the students separated by dash. And then we have to add all of these th things inside a class of students. So what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be creating a class method that makes sure that these things are uh, divided separately, that the first name, the last name and the email are se divided separately and then it's going to create an object for us. So let's create a class method. A class method is created simply. So before even we go, go into that, let me just comment these two lines out that create the objects for us. And let me just uncomment these two strings because we are going to be using these two strings in our class method. So to create a class method, we first use a decorator. Otherwise, this is not a class method. And I'm going to get into what a decorator is in just a minute. Let me just create a method first so that you guys will be able to understand it a little bit more better. And I'm just going to call this method from underscore string. And this method is going to take this class. As you can see, it has been automatically tied by PyCharm because we have used this at the rate class method over here. So it knows, basically PyCharm knows that this form underscore string is actually a class method. So it, the first parameter obviously needs to be class for it to be a class method. And you can, if you want, you can't name it, you can name it anything else. You can, for example, you can name it CL if you want to, but don't name it class because class is a keyword. And in any kind of programming language, not just Python, you can't name a parameter or a variable as a keyword. So over here, because we have used class, so this is a keyword. So instead of, uh, oh shit, I mistyped it. So let me just, yeah, all right. So instead of class, I'm just gonna call it CLS. And then the second parameter needs to do, needs a string because we are going to be splitting these, these strings of students into three paths. So I'm just gonna call this data underscore string, which is going to take these strings from over here. And we are going to be using and splitting these strings inside our from string method. So now what I want is, I want to separate these strings using this dash over here and I want to separate it into three parts. So I'm just going to create three variables, the first name, comma, last name, comma, and the email. And how do we split these uh, strings in Python? It's pretty simple. We just use data string dot split. And then we want to split using the character of dash over here. So I'm just going to put in dash over here. And this is going to make sure that the string is split into three parts. And then I want to create an object just like we did over here, but instead of students, because we are passing the students inside our from underscore string method. So instead of students, we are just going to use CLS. And I'm just going to return this, uh, this uh, object somewhere over here. So I'm just going to write uh, return CLS and then the first name, the last name, pretty simple, and then the email. 
And let me just uh, call this function somewhere over here. So I'm just going to create an object using this variable of stu1. So I'm just going to write stu1 equals to, and then I'm going to write students dot from string. And this needs a parameter that is this name of the string. And let's create the first student that is the student one underscore string. And this is going to be passed to this data underscore string. So I'm just going to write stu1 dot string underscore string. And uh, this looks pretty good. So what is happening over here? Let me just uh, take it from the top. So first Python comes over here. It sees the variable of student one, and then it sees this students dot from string. And then it sees this student one underscore string. And then it goes to this from underscore string method, where it sees that it's a class method. So it takes this class from over here, that is the students class. So we don't have to actually pass this parameter inside. It just automatically takes this uh, parameter from over here. And then we pass this data string that is the student one string from over here, over here to our class method. And then we split this data string into three parts, the first name, the last name and the email. And then we basically return this class of uh, this object basically which we have created and it gets stored inside our student one object. So if we print out this main.py file and if we run this main file, as you can see, it prints out the full name that is R3 but. So now you know what are class methods. And now what is this decorator over here? So if you don't know what a decorator is, basically when you're passing a function to another function and that function returns a function, then it is known as a decorator. I know it might sound a little bit complex, so let me just kind of uh, commit it out for you. So basically when you pass a function to another function, and that function returns a function, then it is known as a decorator. All right, looks good. All right, so basically what we are doing is that we are passing this from underscore string function to a function inside Python that is known as the class method function and it returns a function over here and that is how this whole thing is happening and that is how python basically knows that this form from underscore string method is actually a class method so this is how you use a class method now if you go inside python where you have actually installed python and if you go for example if you go inside uh, python so i've installed my python at this uh, folder structure and if you go inside it and if you go inside this folder called lib and then you search for this uh, python file called data time.py and I'm, if you are not able to find it it's totally fine i'm just going to show you over here and if you search for class uh, method and press enter and as you can see even this date time library which is inside python and which a lot of people use is also using the same method that we are using so as you can see at the rate class method and then from timestamp, it basically takes the time and it basically decodes it just like we did with the split into a lot of parts, year, month, hour, second, week, day, etc, etc. And then it returns this class as year, uh, year, month data and this, it just basically returns this object. So as you can see, this is actually being used in real uh, applications and real famous applications. The data time package inside Python is actually a pretty famous package. You don't even need to install that package. So for example, I can just do over here like from data, uh, date time. So this is basically a package that is already inside Python. It's pretty famous. So what you're learning over here is a lot of real applications in uh, basically real world. So this is an example of class method. And now let's get into what is a static method. So the static methods and the regular methods are kind of the same. That is what I mean by regular method is the class level methods. So they're kind of the same thing, but the only main difference is that when you're creating static methods, they're on the class level. And when you're creating regular methods, they are not on the class level. They are affected by instances. So over here, for example, for name, this is taking an instance of this self object. And then we are printing out the first name and the last name that is uh, affected by the instance that is it is being referred to basically. So if we need to create it a static method, which basically prints out the number of students, what we can do is we can just write another decorator. And so that Python knows basically that it is a static method and we can just write static uh, static method over here and then over here we can just create a function that prints out the number of students 
so we can just write uh, print underscore students and inside it we are just gonna print out the number of students that is the students dot number of students and over here outside we can call this number of students uh, static method so we can just call it over here by writing students dot print students and that's pretty much it let's run this main dot pi file and as you can see the number of students is one right now and then it says author that is the full name of the student so basically class method is a method that takes first parameter as a class and then the static method is a method that is dependent on the class and not on the instances or the objects and a regular method is just a method that is inside class or uh, yeah that is inside class and what is the difference between methods and functions just so that you guys know methods are related to objects so whenever you are using objects and classes then these functions are actually known as methods but if they are outside this uh, class then they are just known as functions so if we create another function just outside over here then this would be known as a function while all of these things that are inside that are referred with this keyword of def that is the definition all of these uh, def are actually methods so guys this is pretty much it for this video i hope you understood what is uh, class methods and what are starting methods and i'll see you in the next video peace out